Example 16. This is the last example of this series. We have dy over dt equals to e to the y minus t times secant y times 1 plus t squared. And initial condition y of 0 is equal to 0. Before we start, we are going to rearrange this function. So we are going to rewrite e to the y minus t as e to the y over e to the t using the power rule because e to the y minus t is equal to e to the y times e to the negative t and if you take this to denominator the power changes the sign becomes e to the positive t and we're going to rewrite secant of y as 1 over cosine y using the trigonometric identities now let's rewrite we have dy over dt equals to e to the y times 1 plus t squared divided by e to the t times cosine of y. Our next step is to cross multiply. So we have e to the t times cosine y dy equals to e to the y times 1 plus t squared dt. Now we would like t terms on the right and y terms on the left hand side. So we're going to divide the whole equation by e to the y and simultaneously by e to the t. So we obtain and we can take this upstairs as e to the negative y times cosine y dy equals to, we can take this to numerator as e to the negative t times 1 plus t squared dt. Our differential equation is totally separated. So now we can integrate both sides. Here, if we observe, we're going to see that this is integration by parts. This is also integration by parts. I have full video about integration by parts. Let's remember what the formula was for integration by parts. u times v minus integral of v du. Here, we are going to pick up arbitrarily some function u and dv and make up du and v. So here, e to the negative y is our u and cosine of y is our dv. So u is e to the negative y. So du can be found by differentiating. So derivative of e to the negative y is negative e to the negative y dy. Our dv we picked is cosine of y. To be able to make v, we have to integrate this. Integral of cosine y is sine y. You can use the unit circle practically. So this is the cosine positive direction, negative sine direction, positive sine direction, and negative cosine direction. If you go to counterclockwise, you get the integrals of the trigonometric functions. If you go to clockwise, then you get the derivatives of the functions. Now we have u, du, v, and dv, so we can apply integration by parts formula. u times v, which is e to the negative y times sine of y, minus integral of v du. v is sine of y, and du is negative e to the negative y dy. We can pull negative sign here and make it positive, e to the negative y dy. Now we are going to apply integration by parts formula here again. So we need to use our u and dv. This time we can pick up different letters. So we can pick up w. So we have to make up dw and dz and then we can find z. You can use any letters. uv might be confusing because you used it above. It's totally up to you. As long as you track carefully, it's fine. So 
here our w which is u is e to the negative y so derivative of this is negative e to the negative y dy and our dz is sine of y dy so integral of this is negative cosine of y now we're going to apply u times v minus integral of v du in our case this is w and this is z so w is e to the negative y and v which is z is negative cosine of y minus integral of z which is negative cosine negative times negative makes here positive cosine of y times negative e to the negative y dy makes here again negative negative e to the negative y dy as you can realize that this integral is identical as our start point so this is called circular integration by parts you start a point and you come back to same point so it repeats so here what we're going to do is this we started as integral of e to the negative y cosine of y dy is equal to what we obtained is this part plus this part plus this red box so e to the negative y sine of y so we have plus here we have negative here so let's use negative e to the negative y cosine y minus integral of e to the negative y cosine of y dy so this part and this part is identical let's call it i and we can combine the like terms so we can take it to the left hand side of the equation so we obtain 2i now we need to solve for i because we are interested in solving for this integral so we divide everything by 2 so our integral will be equal to e to the negative y sine of y over 2 minus e to the negative y cosine of y over 2 so this is our left hand side final so when we use integration by parts for e to the negative y cosine of y dy we obtain this so we are done with the left hand side now we are going to take care of the right hand side and then set it equal to each other and then we are going to plug in initial condition given and solve for c and that's going to be our implicit solution so next integration by parts we are going to do is e to the negative t 1 plus t squared now we are going to integrate e to the negative t times 1 plus t squared dt this is again integration by parts it's going to be very useful to practice integration by parts all cases circular cases tabular method I have detailed video about it on my videos this time I'm not going to apply u times v minus integral of v du instead I'm going to apply practical tabular method so in the tabular method we make t chart we pick our u and dv again our u is again e to the negative t this is arbitrarily you can pick up either one u and dv but it is good to pick up someone differentiable as u and integrable as dv so let's use actually let's use this as our dv because it's easy to integrate 
and let's use the other one as our U because it's easy to differentiate. In the tabular method, you take the derivative of this. So derivative of that is 2t. Derivative of this is 2t. Again, derivative of this is 2, and derivative of this is 0. If you reach 0, then you stop. Now we're going to integrate this. Integral of e to the negative t is negative e to the negative t. Again, integral of this is this time positive e to the negative t. And integral of this is negative e to the negative t. So we differentiate this function until we obtain 0. And we integrate this function until we come to the same level here. In the tabular method, we multiply cross. And we alternate the sign. We start with plus sign, so we use the plus sign, and then negative sign, and then plus sign. If it continues, you alternate plus, negative, plus, negative. Now, this is going to be equal to, so our integral, which is integral of e to the negative t, 1 plus t squared dt, will be equal to 1 plus t squared times negative e to the negative t. Our next group is, we have negative sign here. Our next group is 2t times e to the negative t. And finally, our final group is 2 times negative e to the negative t. So we're going to distribute and simplify. So our integral, this integral, will be equal to that using the tabular method. If you apply u times v minus v du, you're going to get the same answer. So tabular method is just a practical method. So integral of e to the negative t, 1 plus t squared dt, is equal to, let's multiply out this. So 1 times negative e to the negative t is negative e to the negative t, plus we have negative because you're multiplying by negative, so negative e to the negative t, t squared. We have negative sign here, negative 2t e to the negative t. And finally, plus, we are multiplying by negative number, so it's going to be negative 2 e to the negative t. Now we're going to combine the like terms. This one and that one is the like term. So we have negative 2 plus negative 1 is negative 3. So we have negative 3 e to the negative t here. And in the middle term, we have negative 2 e to the negative t times t. You can keep t here or just in front of e. It doesn't matter. And then from the first term, we have negative e, negative t, t squared. So this is our final answer for the right-hand side. Now, we're going to write down left-hand side and right-hand side. From the left-hand side, we found this. And from the right-hand side, we found this. Let's rewrite everything. Okay, we continue with the integrals. So we found integral on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side using integration by parts method. Now we're going to apply the initial condition, which is y of 0 equals to 0. Here, this 0 is our independent variable t, and this is our dependent variable y. So this is going to be e to the negative 0 sine of 0 over 2 minus e to the negative 0 cosine of 0 over 2 equals to negative e to the negative 0 0 squared minus 2 times e to the negative 0 times 0 minus 3 times e to the negative 0. So let's carefully solve. So e to the 0 is 1 and negative 3 times 1 is 3. So this is gone, 0 times anything gone, this is gone. Sine of 0 is 0, so it destroys this whole term. e to the 0 is 1, cosine of 0 is 1, and 1 times 1 is 1, divided by 2 is negative 1 half here. So we have plus c here.
because we put plus C on the independent variable side. So on the right hand side, we opt negative 3 plus C. So here, if we solve for C, C will be equal to negative 5 over 2. Add 3 on both sides. That's what you're going to obtain. So let's rewrite everything. So that's going to be our implicit solution. I would like to copy this solution. And paste here. So our C value was negative 5 over 2. So this is completely our implicit solution. It's not always possible to find explicit solution. In this example, it is not possible to solve for y, so there is no explicit solution here. That's the end of the series of separable equations. I hope it was helpful. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and like the videos. Thank you for watching.